Good morning, Print Fam. It's your boy Cam. Welcome back to the Print Life. Intro time. Today's agenda is pretty straightforward. I gotta get the Vastex 1000 uh, and all of its associated parts loaded up onto a pallet, and I gotta reach out to UPS and schedule a pickup from them so we can get them off to the winner. I've never, I don't pallet stuff up. I'm gonna go, I guess, to Home Depot or Walmart and then just get the pallet saran wrap, snatch up this pallet out here in the front. Before I can head to Home Depot, I gotta let Jesse get here and uh, got films to print. Every day is the same. Every day is the same. Oh yeah, quick update on the software. It's getting close, man. They're getting the integration done for the payment processor, which is gonna be through Pay Junction for now. So make sure to go sign up with Pay Junction. I'm doing the integration with Pay Junction for now, strictly for testing purposes, but I'm gonna to try to get anyone that signs up that we're gonna get, anyone that's part of the Print Life software is gonna get like specialty rates. Uh, so it, it should be beneficial for everybody, for Pay Junction. For, and for us, hopefully. We'll see if they come through, man. But if they don't, I'm gonna probably just talk to some of the other processors and somebody will, will give us a good deal on it. But for now, we are integrating with Pay Junction, but that may not be the final one that we go with. Depends on who gives us the best deal. Cool? Cool. Film's done. Pow. This film is done. Pa-pow, pa-pow. Motherfucker! All right, Jesse's here. Say hi, Jesse. All right, dude, I'm going to get packing supplies. I'll see you in a little bit. Did he respond? I couldn't tell because I was looking at the camera. Did you say bye? I said bye. Okay, later, dude. Uh, first place I'm gonna try is Home Depot. I'm gonna go check rocks. I know that's a little weird, but you'll see. So I want pumice stone. I don't know if they have it, but pumice stone or some kind of clean, porous rock. Pumice stone would be ideal. Said pumice stone. Five times now, four times. Go buy one bag of Snow White pebbles. They don't have it here. I may need to go to a rock supplier or something. But pumice stone is what I'm ultimately after. I went from drinking no caffeine, being a good boy, to literally dousing myself in it. Gotta get my shit together, dude. All right, Print Fam, it is time for the Friday Business Insight. I was just listening to a podcast, The Big Idea with Marshall Atkinson, and it was the episode with Brett Bowden. He's a cool motherfucker. He's very like low-key, down-to-earth, and he's very forthcoming with information. And as I was listening to it, I was kind of finding some parallels. Not so much with that guy, but I was just, it kind of got me thinking about the biography of Steve Jobs that I'm reading right now. One of the recurring themes that I found with Jobs, and then you go on and you find, and you go to listen, you read other autobiographies of people that have done really cool things. If you look at their history, they just sucked for the most part at everything they did for so long, and then they just kept trying, and eventually they get a hit. It happened with Steve Jobs. He had some successes early on with Wozniak, uh, but then once Apple was started and running, the, all the way from Apple through Next until he hit Pixar, he was basically a gigantic failure. It happened with Bill Gates. I mean, Windows sucked for forever, and Windows technically still sucks today, but he just stuck at it for so long that it and eventually sticks and it gives me comfort in knowing that you don't have to be the best you just you don't have to be you just have to have the desire to be the best at some point but it doesn't mean you ever even have to get there you just have to be on the quest to be that person and that's our weekly business insight
the goal in business it's to find your specialized field and do everything in your power to become the best at it you may never get there but as long as you're striving to kick everyone's ass and be the top dog in that thing you're inevitably going to hit pay dirt at some point so just keep pushing keep working to be the best absorb as much information as you can i'm gonna take my own advice with this and uh, let's all kick each other's asses in this business and just keep pushing each other to the next level. Now I am on my way to Wells Fargo. Just real quick. Let me, damn it, let me fucking. I found a, a Harley Davidson, specifically an FXR from the 80s that I really, really want. So I'm gonna go see if I can just get a very small personal loan for half of it. Uh, if they give me a good enough interest rate, then I may just go ahead and take out a small personal loan for it. We'll see. Probably gonna be about 10, 15 minutes. I, I took the loan. Okay, 202. That took a little longer than expected, but. Deej, oh, you just been resting, huh? Guess what, Jeej? Venom's out this weekend. Did you know that, Venom? Did you know that? Oh, you, yeah, I know. Yay, it's out. It's out, yay. T say, yay, it's out. I know, yay, it's out. I know, it's so exciting. So the job that we were having, they're already boxed up, but the job we were having issues with yesterday, we switched to water-based and that they're beautiful. Worked like a charm. Not really, because we were using the Matsui stuff and Jesse was saying it dries like a m So that kind of sucks. That was the Matsui stuff. The RFU straight out of the container. He said it was just like, the second you did the print, it was already drying. No humidity here. Actually, it's, right now it shouldn't have been that bad. We're at 23%. That's way higher than normal. So, I'm going to use this fucking pallet. Yeah. Damn. God damn. Strong fiberglass. Come on in. Uh, yeah, you guys are the ones starting the, uh, the, the brand, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's getting a little late, later than I expected, so I didn't get the, um, the press actually. Gosh damn it. I didn't get the press palleted up today, but I'll, I'll tackle it tomorrow uh, so that I, as long as I get it shipped out by Monday, we should be good to go. That's it for today. Jesse got the things he needed to get done, done. He got those things got, got. He got those, they got, got, got it. Shit, it's 6.59 p.m. I'm going to call it a day. Uh, we'll tune in next Monday. We'll see you guys then, man. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.